the automated waste segregator. This is a formal video presentation of the project submitted to Texas Instruments India Analog Design Contest 2014. Why Waste Segregation? Solid waste management is a challenge that every municipal corporation faces in India. Bangalore, once known as the Garden City of India, is slowly becoming the Garbage City of India with heaps of debris dumped haphazardly all over the metropolis. Coupled with the ineffectiveness of waste disposal techniques like landfills and incineration and the hazards of rag picking, this has become a major ecological concern. An article in the Hindu dated 16th August 2013 spoke about the need to segregate waste at the source. The waste processing should also be decentralized and the citizen involvement should be increased through the formation of ward committees. Other advantages are to preserve the environment and to raise the standards of public health and sanitation. Existing Waste Management Systems In a survey of large-scale waste management systems outside the country, it has been found that incineration is the most widespread method of waste management as the quantity of dry waste produced over there is higher than that of wet waste. Research into waste management currently primarily deals with the use of eco-friendly products or more efficient processes for waste management. In India, however, the volume of wet waste generated exceeds that of dry waste. And wet waste can be used for biogas generation or for fertilizers, which is why incineration is not a suitable technique for large-scale waste management in India. And the true potential of wet waste can be realized only if it is segregated. And on a domestic scale, no segregation methods are currently available except for the manual segregation. Large-scale waste segregation systems have methods such as the use of electromagnets or size and density-based separation to separate waste. It is not feasible to scale these methods down to a domestic level. The needs for the segregation at the source itself is addressed by the automated waste segregator. How is the automated segregator different? What makes the segregator different from large-scale techniques is that we have successfully dissociated identification and separation systems. In a large-scale segregation, for example, an electromagnet has a dual task of identifying as well as separating metallic waste. However, the two systems are independent in the automated waste segregator. Further, all waste will be segregated using the same methodology regardless of the type. This is what makes the automated segregator a novel way to tackle the waste crisis. The resulting simple technology ensures the feasibility and ease of use. The space occupied by it is only slightly larger than a conventional dustbin. The thought process. It is common to approach waste segregation by identifying the umpteen types of waste such as metallic, paper, plastic, kitchen waste, garden waste, and so on. However, in India, a significant percentage of waste generated at home is wet waste. This waste is composed of kitchen waste like vegetable peels, leftovers, and so on that have a discernible quantity of moisture, fat, or oil in them. The second type of waste is dry waste that can be kept for an extended period without decomposing. Paper, plastic, and materials with comparatively low moisture content fall into this category. Metallic waste has a tremendous value for recycling and is the third major type. Differentiating between dry waste and wet waste on the basis of moisture, fat, or oil content and using metal detectors for metal waste is a cost-effective method of handling domestic waste. After separation, it is crucial to store them separately for which three bins have been used. Presenting the Automated Waste Segregator So where exactly does the automated waste segregator fit in? 
at the source itself. The waste generated is stored in the appropriate container in the segregator. The authorities in each city, such as BBMP in Bangalore, will collect the segregated waste in separate containers and dispose it accordingly. Dry waste is reused or recycled. Wet waste is turned into compost or can be used to generate biofuel. Metallic waste can be reprocessed into an alternative usable form. Processing the waste by the correct means reduces the harmful effects and this is facilitated by the automated waste segregator. The process flow. Here is a block diagram that shows the implementation of the segregator. At the top is an IR sensor module that indicates the arrival of waste and switches on the modules of the segregator. All the register values are reset every time the IR sensor is activated. The waste then drops to an incline that houses the inductance coil for metal detection. Inductive sensing using LDC-1000. The coil that was housed on the incline forms a part of an LC tank whose parallel resonant impedance is measured by TI's LDC-1000 inductance to digital converter. Each time the waste is disposed, the LDC-1000 calculates a fresh base proximity value to take care of any change in the sensing environment or residual waste into consideration. This ensures that at all times the detection of metallic waste is accurate. If the observed change crosses a threshold, then the waste can be identified as metallic. The main advantage of this method is its ability to sense any conducting material irrespective of its magnetic properties. The threshold value is determined in such a way that any metallic waste can be sensed regardless of its attributes, but the proximity data value will not be surpassed by non-metallic waste. Dirt around the coil has no effect on the system's capabilities. The dimensions of the coil had to be such that the parallel resonant impedance of the tank would be altered even in the presence of very small metallic waste. This was calculated to be 4.5 cm in diameter and 35 turns of 24 AWG enameled copper wire. The next module in use is the capacitive sensing for dry and wet waste identification. Capacitive sensing. The capacitive sensing module will be activated only if the base count has not been identified as metallic. The capacitor sets up an RC network and a fresh base count value is obtained to account for any change in the sensing environment. Three pairs of capacitors are used in the module. The dimension and orientation of the plates is different for each capacitor. Two capacitors with a square plates of side 10 cm and one capacitor with a triangular plate have been used. The plates have been oriented at an angle of 45 degrees from each other. This was done to reduce the base capacitance value and subsequently increase the sensitivity. This arrangement also helps to accommodate waste of varying sizes. The base of the module was made sloping to allow waste of smaller sizes to be detected by the more sensitive capacitors. A significant change in the count value is observed when wet waste is introduced between the plates, classifying it as wet waste. Dry waste will not have the same effect and the change in count value is negligible. After identification, it is necessary that the waste is stored separately before collection. The separation. The capacitive plate structure houses a flap that collapses when the corresponding container has come to rest underneath it. The three containers are placed on a circular panel which is rotated according to the sensed garbage type. 
The movement of the collapsible base as well as the circular panel is controlled by two separate geared DC motors. DC geared motors at a low RPM can be used for rotation through large angles with fairly high accuracy. This is a cheaper alternative to the stepper motor. The second IR sensor module is used to control the movement of the circular panel. Results of inductive sensing This graph is a plot of the proximity register count value which indicates the proximity or nearness of the metallic refuse from the coil and the distance of the waste from the coil. The value of the proximity register increases as the metallic waste is brought towards the coil. The proximity register count value increases with the large surface area of the object owing to an increase in eddy currents generated on the metallic surface. We experimentally obtained that a change of 400 units in the proximity register count value indicates the presence of a metallic waste. Results of Capacitive Sensing An initial count value is recorded with the base capacitance. If the change in the count value on the introduction of a waste exceeds a threshold of 10 units, the waste is classified as wet waste, else it goes into the dry bin. As you can see in the graph, we have got a success rate of more than 75% on all wastes that have been tested including potato, onion, okra, paper, and plastic. The segregator's affordability and simple technology makes it a viable solution that can be used in any household. This model for waste segregation can also be altered to suit other scenarios such as an office or a commercial establishment. What the waste generation can lead to is the creation of a dumping yard free society as the waste after segregation can go directly to the respective processing sites, rendering dumping zones redundant. Secondly, the waste segregator can become a basis for a database that has information about the waste generation trends of a household. In today's age of the Internet of Things, this information can be used to regulate everyday practices of a household right from buying tendencies to the usage of everyday resources. This can be done with the sole aim to reduce waste generation. The information obtained can also be used to levy taxes based upon the type and quantity of the waste generated by a household. Eventually, this data can be used to measure the waste footprint of a household, which is a measure of how much waste is being generated in a household. Future work. Every project always has scope for improvement. Perhaps the most pressing issue of the separation of waste is when they are disposed simultaneously. The waste segregator can be improvised to include the separation of paper and plastic. Identification of biomedical waste such as syringes and sanitary napkins is a challenge as they share some properties of other kinds of waste. Separation of e-waste can also add another dimension to the segregator. A more compact and aesthetically pleasing design can also be put together. We would like to thank Texas Instruments for this opportunity to present our ideas on this platform. We would also like to thank our mentor, Mrs. Suma, for her support and guidance throughout the project and the faculty of Arvey College of Engineering for their valuable inputs. Thank you.